If you ever have collections on your credit report, I highly, highly recommend that you never, ever try to pay it. Why are collections even on your credit report if you didn't make an illegal obligation with that collections company? See, what collection companies tend to do and what they always do is they buy your contract from the original place that you place your contract. Let's say you bought furniture from a store, right? And you never paid for the furniture. The furniture store eventually writes it off as a complete loss and they sell your contract to a collection agency. The collection agency, let's say you owe $10,000, right? The collection agency will buy that contract for maybe a hundred to $200. And instead they'll be trying to make that difference of the collections by calling you and harassing you and just like being really annoying to get that money back, but they don't have the legal contract with you. That's why you can always dispute collections and usually take them off of your credit report really, really easy. In this video, I'm gonna guide you and show you exactly how you can get it removed from your credit report in 24 hours by yourself nothing is really advanced needed it's really quick and easy and i'll also show you a couple of full tricks and tips of how you can increase your credit score as well for example if you have a late payment on your credit card and it's on your credit report you can always just call the bank or call the credit card company that you have it issued with and get it removed some you know credit card companies do have live chat as well like business capital one i believe has live chat and amazon credit card that i used to have had live chat as well and i was able to get it removed from my credit history by just live chatting with customer service and even giving them a call would actually get it removed for you so i'm gonna go on the computer now and show you guys how to get it removed from your credit report but what i really want you to know is that if you ever pay collections it doesn't get it removed from your credit report you heard it right here you heard it exactly what i said if you pay collections it's still gonna stay on your credit report and it's gonna just recycle the whole thing again instead it's gonna stay even longer on your credit report so there's no win-win even if you pay collections you're still losing you're still losing money and it's still gonna stay on your credit report so that's just makes it even worse that's why i recommend never paying collections instead i'm gonna show you guys how to dispute it how to get it off of your credit report and some other cool tricks and tips of how to increase your credit score so in front of me here i have credit karma this is what I use to monitor my credit report. And you can see my credit currently is a little bit over 800 points. And you can always get it like this. It's not that hard to do. All you have to do is just know how the whole game works, especially if you're trying to maybe finance a car or buy a home or anything like that. You need to have your credit score a little bit higher. So let's just click it really quick here and I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do. So for payment history this thing needs to be always 100 percent all you have to do for your payment history if you missed a payment with your credit card company or anything like that just give them a call or live chat with them i'm also going to suggest a virtual assistant for you i'm going to have it in the link down below he will actually get a remove for you for like 20 bucks if you're like overwhelmed with the whole process or you if you're just busy with life i'm gonna have a virtual assistant and the link down below just 20 bucks and you'll actually get a remove for you but all you have to do really is just call live chat with them and they'll get it removed later on i'll talk more about the virtual assistant and how it works and how you can actually use it for your benefit for credit card use this is a no-brainer right i recommend 10 percent or less for this when i use my credit cards i don't I, I do have more than 1%, but it's always on my business. So it doesn't reflect on my personal credit score. That's what I like about putting expenses on my business credit card. It's a write off and as well as it doesn't hurt or affect my credit score as well. So it's really important, you know, if you maybe do a side hustle or anything like that, down the line, you could always get a business credit card for that and get some points. And also it's not gonna hurt your credit uh, score as well. Yeah, 1%, you always wanna make sure it's 10% or lower. You could always increase your credit card limit because what it is in, is an expense card spending limit. It's a ratio like that. So let's say in total, all with all my credit cards, my spending limit is seventy thousand for for example, right? And seven thousand. If I spent seven thousand dollars on my credit card, 
that's 10%. So you have to think of it like that, 10% or lower, depending on you know your spending limit on the credit card and how much you owe. Credit age, there's nothing really you can do with this. You just need to have you know long uh, credit cards down the line. Heart inquiries can always be removed. All you have to do is contact the agency that gave you a heart inquiry and let's click full credit report here. So once you click full credit report, so if you have collections, you just need to click full report. You need to scroll down to the bottom here and you're going to click the company that you have a collections with. Click that company. I can't show you exactly here because I don't have any currently, but you're just going to click it here and then it's going to have a little side thing here saying dispute this. You're going to click dispute and you're going to write to them. I do not have any obligation or any contract with this company. I request for it to be removed within 24 hours. That's all you need to write in order to get it removed within 24 hours of your credit score. This is going to bump up your credit score 50 to even 100 points literally in 24 hours. Credit Karma is a little bit slower compared to, you know, TransUnion and these other ones, but sometimes it does it in 24 hours at most three to four days. This is a super easy way to get it removed from collection let's say it doesn't work for you um you know you did it and it didn't work for you what i would recommend you to do is hire a virtual assistant for this because they actually specialize in this and i'm gonna show you guys what i mean so behind me here i have a virtual assistant that specializes in credit repair honestly it's probably one of the best routes if you're really busy with work or you know just life in general and you, if you're trying to get your credit score repaired and you just don't have the time to be calling and doing all of this, then this is the person to do it with. Instead of doing something with the US, this person will guide you. You don't have to give them any personal information, or anything like that. Instead, he'll send you letters. He'll give you, he'll guide you through the whole process and it's a very cheap and affordable price. He, you can get rid of medical bills, late payments, everything like that. I highly recommend this person. You can see that they have over 300 reviews of five stars. If you click with all the reviews, you can see just a ton of great reviews. You can see re here, credit score, credit score delete every 100 negative times for months. Great, great things. And it's only $40. You can see here that he even helps with identity theft as well. So let's click here. Identity theft papers. If you need to submit it to the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, he'll do that as well. You just see that he repairs people's credit. I, I highly recommend you do it yourself for the most part. I highly recommend you try to remove the collections yourself, do everything yourself, late payments, hard inquiries, everything like that. If you can, if it's overwhelming for you, you can always hire a virtual assistant that specializes in this. I have it in the link down below for you. And honestly, these two routes are the best to increase your credit score, to remove collections, to do all of that. If you have any questions, Leave them in the comment down below. I'll also have a link for this guy in the comments as well. And that's about it. See you guys on the next one. Peace.